Hello friends, this video on control and coordination part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about why should hormones be present in the right amounts. I have told before also that if hormones are present in excess amount or in very less quantity that is harmful for the body. So let us here talk about some of the hormones. Let us take some examples of hormones and what happens if they are present in undesired amounts. So let us see. Hormones if present in more or less than desired amount can be harmful. Let us talk about the growth hormone. Which endocrine gland secretes the growth hormone? The pituitary gland. Hypoactivity. Hypo means less and hyper means more. So if it is secreted in less than the required amount, it will cause dwarfism. Dwarfism means dwarf means very small people. That means people who did not grow much. So when there is no growth hormone in the body, obviously the body will not grow. So that person will remain very short with short arms, short legs, everything short. So this will lead to dwarfism. Similarly, on the other hand, if there is hyperactivity, if there is too much secretion of growth hormone, this can cause gigantism. That means the person might look like a giant. Here you can see. So just compare the two persons. One is too big and the other one is too small. So if it is in the right amount, then the physical appearance or the growth of the person will also happen in the right amount. Let us look at another hormone that is insulin. What is the function of insulin? Insulin which is secreted by the endocrine part of pancreas, it actually decreases the level of glucose in blood. Right? Now, hyposecretion, that means if less insulin is secreted, what will happen? There will be nobody to lower the level of glucose in blood. So, the level of glucose in blood will keep on increasing. So, there will be too much of glucose in the blood. There will be so much of glucose in the blood that you can even feel glucose while passing urine. So, even in urine, you will have so much of glucose. Right? So, that can give rise to a disease called diabetes. I am sure you would have heard about this disease in any of your known persons because generally people at an elder age or people who consume too much of sweets tend to have diabetes. So in this disease the person tends, the person tends to be overweight, the, they, they suffer from a lot of other problems if they get an injury, if the healing time increases to a very large amount, it takes a lot of time to heal wounds. So. If insulin is secreted in the right amount, it will always control the level of glucose. So, whenever the level of glucose will try to increase, it will try to control it. Now, you might ask that does that mean that whoever is suffering from diabetes has hyposecretion of insulin? So, there are two possibilities. Either the, the secretion of insulin is less or the intake of sweet is more. If you take in more and more sweet foods that means you are taking in more and more glucose so maybe the amount i mean the amount which can be controlled by insulin and the amount of glucose which you are taking in that is very high so if you are taking too much of glucose even if insulin is getting secreted in the right amount it is not able to handle that much high level of glucose right so if you are having a normal diet in that case if insulin is getting secreted in the right amount the level of glucose in the blood will also be right. Let us look at another hormone that is the thyroid hormone. Now in thyroid also, you would have heard people saying that she is suffering from thyroid problem. He is having thyroid problem because of which he is gaining so much of weight. Some people will say because of thyroid problem, I am losing so much of weight. So there are many complaints related to this. Now this thyroid hormone secretes thyroxin, I'm sorry, the thyroid gland secretes the thyroid hormone that is the thyroxin. Now abnormal thyroid hormone production can cause two situations. One is hyperthyroidism and the other one is hypothyroidism. Now whatever problems which we hear from our relatives that he is gaining weight due to thyroid problem or he is losing weight due to thyroid problem, all those things happen due to this abnormal secretion either the secretion is more so that, that is hyperthyroidism or the secretion is less that is hypothyroidism now hypoactivity can cause a disease known as cretinism what is cretinism it is 
retarded mental and physical growth in children. Generally in pregnant women, if there is hypoactivity of this thyroid hormone, then the growth of the child is not proper. So sometimes the child who is born it has retarded physical and mental growth. Now why physical and mental growth is affected by the thyroid hormone? Because we have seen in the previous slides that the per function of thyroid hormone is protein, carbohydrate and fat metabolism and cell oxidation. So cellular oxidation, so whenever the your amount of hormone is less that means it is actually affecting the cellular oxidation it is actually affecting the metabolism so that means it is actually affecting the overall growth of the body and overall growth would include both physical and mental right so with these examples we see that hormone should be present in the desired amounts iodine is another supplement which is needed for synthesis of thyroxine so if we should include iodine in our diet, you would have seen advertisements on your television that uh, have iodized salt, iodized salt is good for your health. Why? Because iodine is needed for thyroxine synthesis. So if you consume more iodine in your diet, that means there is somebody who is actually encouraging the synthesis of thyroxine. So in that case, this cretinism will not happen, right? I mean, the hypoactivity chances are less. Now there is a disease which is caused by lack of iodine and that is called goiter. So it is the swelling of neck due to malfunctioning of thyroid gland. So here in this picture you see that the neck of this lady has swollen badly. This situation is known as goiter and it happens when there is lack of iodine in the body. That is why we say that we should take in more iodine because more iodine, so iodine will encourage the thyroid gland to produce thyroxine. So more thyroxine will be produced so the metabolism of the body and the cellular oxidation will happen in a nice way and therefore the person will remain healthy. So I think with these examples you now understand that hormone should never be in excess, it should neither be less. Right? So with this I think I have discussed all about the human endocrine system. So we saw how the uh, different hormones produced by the glands, how they actually help in maintaining coordination because the hormones which are carried by the blood, they reach different parts of the body. So they act as carriers of information or they act as messengers and that is how they help in controlling and coordinating the body. So let us have a quick overview of the human endocrine system. It is nothing but the chemical coordination in human beings. Endocrine glands and hormones secreted by them form the endocrine system. So here we have an overview of all the glands in a human male and female. The only difference between male and female is the reproductive organ. In females we have ovaries and in males we have the testes. Other than that, we have spoken about hypothalamus, pineal and pituitary. They are present in the brain. Pituitary is the master gland of the body. Parathyroid and thyroid are present in the neck region. Then we have pancreas which uh, secretes insulin and glucagon. We have adrenal which are the emergency hormones, which secretes the emergency hormones. Right? So with this I will end my discussion on the human endocrine system. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.